to sleep in the valley of the doors I fought for peace but walked into war What a place that I have to call home If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and check the all notifications button such that you are the first to get notified about all the updates right here at Dino's Vault. Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to my first drive impression of the all new 2020 Hyundai Verna BS6 model. It gets a comprehensive makeover and what all changes does it bring along with it? We're going to go over a quick overview as to what the 2020 BS6 model has on offer. First, let's start with the engine options. We get uh, three engine options to choose from. Uh, one uh, petrol, that is a 1.5 litre petrol. Then you have the 1.5 litre diesel. And then you have the 1 litre turbocharged petrol. So the 1 litre turbocharged put petrol uh, puts out 120 PS of max power and comes uh, powered with a 7 speed DCT. Uh, then you have the 1.5 litre petrol. The 1.5 litre petrol puts out 115 PS of max power and uh, 144 Newton meters of max torque. Then the 1.5 litre diesel, the CRDI U2 version, puts out 115 PS of max power and 250 Newton meters of max torque. And uh, in terms of transmission, the petrol gets uh, manual as well as automatic you have the ivt six-speed automatic option for the petrol and for the auto for the diesel you have uh, six-speed uh, manual as well as the six-speed automatic and then for the turbo petrol as i told you we have the seven-speed dct or dual clutch gearbox so i'd love to check that out once it's available as of now this is the diesel manual variant sx option top of the line so it looks absolutely stunning in this new color scheme. You have this chrome lining running across the window line. You have the chrome handles, door handles that look really premium. You have uh, LED lights right here. Really futuristic design. And then you have the LED fog lamp as well. The massive front grille. The dark chrome front grille reminds me of the car from... Uh, Black Panther. Now we all know that uh, the design influence comes from the new designer who has joined uh, Hyundai who used to design for Lamborghini, Bentley and Audi before. So you can see the design influence clearly being apparent in the new uh, Hyundai lineup. Really comes alive with its contemporary, futuristic, radical, sensuous and sexy design. And uh, to complement this, you have the dual tone uh, 16 inch alloy wheels looks absolutely stunning you get disc brake up front but I think in the turbo petrol we get disc brakes all around to offer supreme braking performance then you have the shark fin antenna the LED tail lamps you can see a little bit of Elantra influence here so it looks a lot more up, up market and looks one segment higher then you also have this rare diffuser kind of an effect and the chrome uh, accents on the rear bumper overall shark fin antenna the sloped roof line gives a sports coupe kind of a stance you have character lines running across the body highlighting the sporty character that's always been the trademark element of the Verna series and i can't wait to get my hands on it and talk about the driving experience but this front grille is to die for i mean the dark chrome front grille looks absolutely kick-ass and truly class defining now you also have this massive chrome accent up front really i'm telling you this looks like a car from a higher segment also you get uh, power folding and power adjustable outside rear view mirrors with integrated turn indicators stepping inside the cabin is again luxurious and sporty and elegant you can see this 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system the seats are super comfortable you have uh, leather seats and dual tone seats and you get all black interiors for the turbo petrol now talking about the display 
you can see the startup animation looks absolutely kick-ass and really futuristic and sporty and it looks really really futuristic i love the uh, digital fonts and the layout the user interface uh, then you can just go through the user interface and the lights and all these other features then you have the tire pressure then you have the fuel economy then you have user settings so it's like filled with features all around then you also have uh, cruise control you have phone and volume controls as well along with voice command feature then this is the highlight this is the 8 inch full color tft console and it's a hd panel i believe so let's get to the main menu this is the main menu you have the blue link connected car app with which you can start the uh, car and you can start the ac also uh, using the blue link app i'll leave a link to that app in the description portion below uh, it's a really revolutionary app and then you have android auto and apple carplay support and another important uh, then you have settings feature you have the general you have the language and all these things then you have the display you can increase or uh, decrease the brightness as per your personal preference as per the changing lighting conditions then you have the sound volume levels equalizer and archimedes sound system is there so that provides for a truly immersive sounding experience here you have archimedes sound mode and uh, apart from that you have turn by turn navigation satellite navigation on offer and uh, truck loads of uh, features and then you have the automatic climate control uh, it really cools down the cabin very quickly these ac vents work really effectively and you have a uh, good feel to them you have these uh, aluminium kind of accents on them which really adds to the premium feel so the plastic quality is decent enough you also get a cooled glove box here and uh, another revolutionary feature is these two buttons right here so you get ventilated seats now how cool is that so you can cool yourself down no matter what how bad a day you might have had the moment you sit in this car and turn on the ventilated seats uh, uh, feature it really cools you down and uh, transports you to a different uh, dimension altogether and uh, then you have the 12 volt charging port the usb port and another charging port and you have wireless charging here as well uh, you have cup holders here you have an armrest with concealed storage space you have uh, you have bottle holders and map pockets so the ac also gets the eco coating technology which is like purified air so that's always good and this is a bs6 compliant engine so it's greener and cleaner and more environment friendly when compared to the bs4 model uh, you do get uh, rare ac vents right here the leg room is decent enough i would say it wouldn't be generous or abundant but it's decent enough i'm around uh, five feet seven inches and there's still plenty of room thanks to the slightly scooped out uh, front seat panels talking about safety we get dual airbags and abs with ebd as standard right from the base variant which is outstanding stuff in the top end sxo variant or sx option variant you get six airbags you also get hill start assist you get uh, electronic stability control and uh, vehicle stability management and whatnot so it comes packed with safety all around and the chassis structure is made up of advanced high strength steel so the chassis construction and the car construction is really top notch and top quality stuff you also get an illuminated charging port here other highlights include a sunroof which has become a norm and a standard in this segment we also get this rare retractable sun blinds which will really come in handy in sunny conditions but one thing that's sad though is that we don't get sun blinds here on the sides so i really wish they include that at least as an option talking about seat at the talking about space at the back are uh, two adults and a kid will feel happy at the back for sure the seats are comfortable you get headrests for two passengers at the back you also get armrest here so that's pretty much it not too much space for the third adult because of the protrusion of the rear ac vent coming here in the way now another really cool function about the new verna is the smart boot opening function 
For this, you need to lock the car first. Say, for instance, both of your hands are occupied carrying luggage. All you need to do is come closer to the car. And it senses that you're here and it opens up the boot. So this is really smart uh, thinking by Hyundai in terms of uh, practicality. When you have lots of luggage to carry, all you need to do is come closer to the car and the car does the job, uh, makes it easier for you by opening up the boot. So you get 465 liters of boot space, which is phenomenal for a car in this segment. Now let's take a look under the hood at the engine compartment. Here you have the CRDI 16 valve uh, diesel engine. The one of my favorites when it comes to diesel engines, most refined and most responsive engine in the segment. So I'm really curious to check out how the drive feel is. Okay guys, now it's time for my drive impression. 1.5 liter diesel automatic 2020 BSX Verna. First of all, the way you sit, it's really comfortable. You also have tilt and telescopic steering. I like to keep it here. Let's lock this and start the engine. You have a torque converter gearbox here. Let's go ahead. First of all, I like the seating stance. It's almost like you're seated in a GT race car. Nice low slung seating posture. Nice feel to the steering wheel. You have the auto uh, speed door lock function. And uh, I love the AC. It's nice and effective. Uh, the Verna has always been about sportiness and uh, uh, has kind of a really sensuous feel to it, be it the design or the actual sporty character lurking underneath. It's for the true enthusiast and uh, we all know uh, Hyundai's obsession with speed and precision and racing because their uh, stint at the WRC is really legendary and they've earned a place for themselves in the WRC uh, championship. So you can see that WRC influence happening here in their uh, you know sports influenced cars be it the Verna or even the i20. i20 is their actual uh, WRC car. I actually kind of love the dash, the way it flows. The dual tone dash has a nice uh, premium feel to it, the leather seats and uh, for the turbo petrol I believe we get all black interiors. Step on the gas baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I really miss the sport uh, mode here. We have the speed warning already, it's rock solid. Reach 100, 105, 110. So the gearbox is not uh, kind of doing justice to kind of performance this engine has on offer. I really wish it uh, holds the gear for longer and revs really higher such that it can give us the true enthusiast kind of a feel. And the steering heft also kind of. Uh, Let's slow down here. So the steering heft kind of really weighs up when the speed increases. So that's another important thing that gives you a lot of confidence. Uh, the tires literally stick. We get 16 inches, 16 inch wheels and uh, nice and uh, broad tires. So they offer supreme road grip as well. Suspension is perfectly tuned. The chassis construction is brilliant. It gives you that sporty performance that you're looking for uh, from the kind of a sports sedan that it is. You have that sloping roof line that gives you a sports coupe kind of a feel and uh, that look translates into the sporty driving experience that you come expecting as you step into the Verna. The driving pleasure, the gear shifts are smooth and uh, they are very linear and consistent but they don't offer that sports feel. So maybe they have saved it for the turbo petrol variant where the shifts will happen slightly with the higher revs and uh, it will give you that sporty performance from the turbo petrol. Try, let's try and uh, put it into manual mode and let's see how the performance changes, whether it holds the gear for longer. So I think in the drive mode, just uh, tap to the right and you are in manual mode. 
so now do we have yeah you have this creep function which really helps when you find yourself on inclines such that the car doesn't roll backwards so you have this creep crawl function which helps you in stop and go traffic and you just step on the gas and tap up to shift up it does hold the gas for longer and you can just keep tapping on the gear lever to shift up uh, it's so well uh, designed that uh, the body roll is reduced to bare minimum because it's a low slung uh, seating posture lowered center of gravity so it literally sticks to the surface and gives you supreme road grip unlike any other car in this segment so as of now the car is a good versatile all rounder i can say nice and calm and composed nature with smooth linear acceleration clean gear shifts and uh, best of everything that you can hope for from an executive sports sedan let's look at the overtaking power of this car they claim there's good amount of torque right from 1500 rpm and you can see it literally sticks to the road amazing road grip and you can just surpass the competition with ease just fly past the traffic on the road at will when you need those overtaking uh, power when you need to perform those quick overtakes you can see the car holds the line flawlessly great chassis stability through the corners and perfectly strong suspension as well so i guess this wraps up my first drive impression of the all new 2020 bs6 hyundai verna i just hope you found this video useful i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and drive safe Fast asleep in the valley of the door